Advent, December 16th, 2023. New Expectations. Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 through 32. Jesus said to them, Truly, I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you to show you the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him, but the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. Matthew chapter 21, verse 31c and 32. At a recent gathering, half of the expected people didn't show up. The people said they were coming, but didn't make it. This usually is not a big deal, except that the gathering was catered. Several already packaged hearty meals were left over and the question became what to do with them. I loaded the meals back into the box and took them to a coffee shop, one with a community fridge. While I was concerned with a fridge to make sure they didn't spoil, two people with their entire belongings on their backs came in to see what was coming to the fridge. Before I could unload the meals, these folks smiled, talk about what their friends would like, and started taking the meals out to others on the street. And suddenly, there were just as many people enjoying this hearty meal at the outdoor benches as were in the church fellowship hall. We hope and wait for the expected to come, but how often do we see the things we expect to let us down? What if we loosened our expectations to allow for something new to surprise us? The streets turn into spaces of welcome. Those ignored become the guests we were preparing for. When we see the grace of Christ show up, will we recognize it? Or can we let the expectations of what once was, what we wish it was, shield our expectations? May we encounter a peace this Advent and an ability to let go of expectations. May we welcome and celebrate the surprising ways Christ appears before us. God's grace with us. Reverend Travis Smith McKee, Alumni Board Member and Associate Regional Minister of Congregational Transformation for the Christian Church in Kansas.